This is our island, Madeira Island. We live here, and this is our Vespa. Or actually, it's her Vespa. She just needs her driver's license. Anyway, sometimes we go on scooter adventure because this guy especially loves the wind through his hair. So what's the plan? Well, we're gonna eat like kings, and we're gonna enjoy freedom as if we were William Wallace. Wanna come for a ride? Yes, sir. I get 70 miles to the gallon on this hawk. <laughs> este video tem legendas em português. Portugal! What's up, my boys? Today we are doing a scooter adventure. Last time we did this, we went all the way to the west. This time we are driving to the east coast. I know for a fact that there is a fish restaurant, another fish <laughs> restaurant that we've been wanting to go. And maybe... In, in Manchico, Caniso. Maybe it's better than Agpipa. We will find out. Let the adventure begin. We're already getting bang for our bucks, Jon. This is where you should watch uh, the New Year's firework, maybe. Oh yeah, that would be actually pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> We've never been this far on this side of the yeah. island. It is so pretty. And even the roads going yeah. here were so cute. We are driving on the old roads, which are very scenic. That's what you want on the scooter. Yes. But apparently this is a side where all the big villas Mansions. are, the mansions. And I always wondered why the expensive villas are on this side because it's fairly high up. But I think there is a microclimate here where it's, it's actually warm. warm, even though you are in 300 meters. Uh, and with this view, it makes sense. You can even see Capo yeah. Roca. Capo de Roca. Capo de Roca? Girao. Ah, Girao. Roca, okay. that's, in, that's yeah. on the mainland. Ah. <laughs> We drove all the way to Cristo Rey because Cristo Rey we are gonna go and explore in a bit. But are we? Yeah, I did, we I did with to. the drone, Amelia. That's enough. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, it's not about walking today. It's about driving, I guess. Uh, but we have this really cute place. I have no idea what it's called, but it's a little uh, cafe next to the cable car, and you have an amazing view to Funchal and to the ocean from up here. And you can actually see the cable cars that takes people down to, is it called Garashu Beach? That is right down here. But there are two interesting things about this place because this was the first stop we had the first time we arrived on Madeira. Is it Rio? Is it Lisbon? No, it's Madeira. The other interesting uh, thing is that the Cristo Rey here is the first one in the world. It's before Brazil, it's before Lisbon, and it's number one. And third interesting thing is that we are going to see the big one in Rio in less than a month. We have only been on the road for what? 30 minutes, 35 minutes, and I'm already loving it. I don't know what it is, and I say it every time we're on the scooter, but it just feels like you could conquer the world. It's the best feeling. It's time 
for my favorite time of the day, food. And uh, we just got a little table here at Atreneira. It's a very unassuming place, but that is always a good sign in Portugal. Because the location is pretty in the middle of nowhere, ratings are amazing. And I just went to the wine department and you just walk into their chilled wine cellar and you pick whatever you want. And they have a little bottle here, Duas Quintas. I like that one a lot. So of course we're going all in on fish because that's why you come to this restaurant. So we ordered a sapateira, which is not fish, it's seafood. And then we ordered um, a rubalo. No, a grupa. It's grupa, yeah. I was like, rubalo is not like that, it's a grupa. And then I'd just like to add that today is such a beautiful day. I mean, perfect temperatures. We're in the middle of October, so you start to feel a little bit of the autumn winter coming and here on this island it means that you occasionally feel a chilled breeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's a potato time guys and look at these claws how much meat is inside here. <gasps> oh my god. Wow. Since we can't have bread <laughs> we're eating this potato with cucumbers, Amelia. Well, that is so depressing. <laughs> think about it as a sapateta tzatziki. Oh, wow. Whoa. Are these the ones we see climbing around the, mm -hmm. the rocks? Yeah. Um, I think so. Really? It's freaking good. And do you know what? When we said that we ordered this, of course, normally it comes with really nice toasted bread. That's how you normally would eat it. But because of the freaking diet, we can't have bread. So we asked for cucumber and they were like, Come on, are you kidding me? We heard them mucking in the they... background. They were like, cucumber? Come on. And I, I mean, I can only agree, but bread is not good. You know? Mm. Obrigada. I'm gonna double dip here. Oh God, you wanna... I have to say, this is some of the best fish I've ever had. Like, there's so much meat on this, and the, the, the scale is just... Oh, <laughs> so good. I think it's time we continue our um, exploration. Ex yeah. exploration. But we have to cross the mountains to get to Machico because we don't want to drive on the highway. <sighs> we uh, have been on a scooter for roughly 10 minutes. This is the interesting thing about Madeira. It's such a small island, but you have so many different climates here. It keeps changing. And so, so now we are like, we are, we are only, we're not even halfway up to where we are uh, going down. Tipping over. Um, and yet it's already four or five degrees colder. Oh my God. <laughs> I honestly think this is a little creepy to be honest. I love it. I mean, I hope the, the Vespa brakes are good. Oh, we can see the airport. <laughs> This is as local as it gets on this island here. I mean, look at the road for Christ's sake. It's like the same width as our, as our bed. Look at this old house, it's kind of nice. We should stop somewhere up here and see a plane take off, Jon. Oh, listen to that rumble. Goodbye, Germans. Bratwurst is waiting for you. We are underneath the airport, and um, there is actually there's a harbor and a, and a go kart field, and like it's almost like a little theme park down here. Yeah, this is where they extended the airport after the huge accident back in '79, I believe, where a, a plane skidded off the the runway. But so they had to build it much longer to never have that happen again. And I think it's kind of cool that you actually underneath where the planes take off. I mean, I don't know any other places in the world where this is possible. Let's go to Machico, Amelia. Yes. Is this uh, Instagram worthy? I think it is. We are in Machico, guys. We've been driving past many times never set our foot here and it seems so freaking adorable and they made a market for us Hola. do you think they ever import bananas to madeira <laughs> no <laughs> i don't think so that would be weird did you see there's a fortress here Jon? 
A foot? There's a foot in here. It reminds me a little bit of Sintra because of the trees. They are everywhere in Sintra. I can't fly here. Because we are so close to the airport probably. And there's an airplane coming in right now. I'm not gonna fly in that area. I wanna film the beach. Maybe we should just go to the beach. It looks like the closest you get to a real sandy beach here in Madeira. And you have lots of restaurants. Uh, Actually, here. I will say, I think this town is so cute. This is a scooter adventure, so we can't stay too long each place. And we have an epic road back towards Funchal. We are crossing all over the mountains now. Good thing we have our jackets because it's going to be chilly. Let's refill. This car here, it's so cool. This is like my dream car for Madeira. Wow. Anyway, check out the view here. Amelia, do you remember this place? We stayed here on our first Madeira trip and when we came here it was so cold and it was so rainy and we had to figure out how to use the hotel without being outside and we ended up having one of the best days we have had. <laughs> this is where you come to stay if you're into golf so you would play at the golf cl club that is right on the other side of the road and uh, I play golf and I still haven't played any of the golf, two golf courses here on Madeira. That is a shame actually, yeah. because they are really beautiful. They have amazing views, both of them. Maybe the last stop of today, Abrigo do Poiso, which reminds me of being in Austria yeah. or something. Oh, I haven't had a puncher for decades, it feels. And as we all have different vices, Jones is alcohol, mine is coffee. Can you give me a little um, credit for not really drinking anymore, like getting drunk? Actually, I gave you credit four days ago and then the day after I gave you credit you started drinking again and you've been drinking every day since I gave you credit. Well, when you say drinking, it's like maybe one glass of wine. It was half a bottle and then it was half a bottle and then I don't know how much you had with you yesterday and then today it's half a bottle plus a punch here. So. But that was a beautiful day on the scooter. Nice adventure. We got to see a lot of stuff we haven't seen before on this little big island. So um, there's not much more to say than... Um, Thanks for today. We hope you enjoyed it and you learned something. I don't know what. But uh, Amelia, do you think? 
Obrigada por ver o vídeo. It's my thing. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye, guys. And remember to uh, subscribe uh, for 10 years of good luck. <laughs> Cheers.